Honored ancestors lie rotting in the dust, reduced to stinking carrion. So, my revenge has begun! But there is more to do yet, my living weapon. There is more to do. Mind flayers bring forth their lava in specially prepared birthing pools. These pools teem with thousands of the vermin. The future of this vile race swims helpless in those pools. When I was brought here, they stripped away my possessions. With luck, you can still find them lying not far from here. A hidden pocket in my belt pouch holds a vial of extremely powerful poison. Find the vial and introduce its contents to one of the birthing pools. The poison will kill thousands of nascent mind flayers at a stroke. Kill the foul things! Destroy them all! The Mind Flayers reproduce by means of lava implanted in the skull of a suitable host. The lava devours the brain and mutates the body until it becomes a hideous Mind Flayer. Nearby are victims implanted with lava. Their brains are being fed upon by those parasites. You must destroy them before they are reborn as Mind Flayers. Do not allow your foolish, surface-dweller sentiments to stay your hand. These victims are already dead, though their flesh lives on. Killing them will be what your kind calls mercy.
last. What, what took you so long? I have little time left. Yes, as you may have guessed by now, the Illithids inserted one of their lava into me. Even now, I feel it gaining control of my mind. But I have my revenge on countless of its brethren. They will never have a chance. Killing the host body doomed the illithid lava within. I hope the Mind Flayers will mourn the loss of these horrid children. I hope they will feel pain at the loss. But there is still more... More to do to stop them from reaching the inner chambers. I don't have much longer. The words are becoming difficult. The mind flare you seek, revered Florog, whom we all must serve. No! It hides in the Illithid Enclave. Searching for an ancient elder brain. Destroy him. Bring ruin to all these abominations. You must stop Florok from reaching the elder brain.
I hope you have a strong grip on your sanity, friend. Florok is dead, and Mandrake is avenged. I can't imagine what would have happened if the Illithid had reached the Elder Ring. You truly are a miracle worker. Celebration is rare for the Guild of Underdark Guides. I only wish I had more time to savor it. Your success here in the Whispering Caverns has saved us from the Illithid threat. Excellent work, adventurer. The Guild will soon move to explore the wonders of the Underdark now that you've made it safer. I do have to wonder, though, how the Drow, Durigar, and Illithid were all working together towards some nefarious end. I can't help but think that someone or something is still working in the shadows. Nevertheless, I'm sure you're eager to return to the surface and report what happened here to Neverwinter. Savor the fresh air when you get there, and good luck on your travels. Protectors on put So, the drow were working with those bastard squids, and you put a stop to it? Well done! You're a hero in the making. I do agree with Soren's concerns, though. As of late, the forces of evil have been more ambitious than I've seen in a long time. Your help was essential in keeping Neverwinter safe. But I don't think we're quite finished yet. Adventurer! Archseer Cybella has requested your aid with something in her visions. Speak with her when you have some time. What can I do for you, adventurer? I have been having new visions, which I believe are not blessings of Savras. These visions do not seem to be of the future, but of the past and present. I have seen your great adventures along the Sewer Coast, and the things you have already overcome. As followers of Savras, we are occasionally blessed with the gift of the Third Eye, the ability to see glimpses of the future and events that are yet to come. Having visions of the past must mean something greater is upon us. Possibly something we have yet to understand. 
Are you willing to assist me in what remains of the Order of the Third Eye by completing these campaigns? Each week, we scribe new visions from both past and existing campaigns that require the assistance of adventurers to complete. These visions often include completing quests, defeating foes, or besting encounters that are heroic in nature. The remaining members of the Order of the Third Eye have agreed to grant you a bonus payment for your services. Is there anything else? I hope all of that made some sense to you. So, are you ready to assist me in these legacy campaigns? Simply tell me which one you like, and the Order of the Third Eye will see to it. If you ever wish to choose something else, come speak with me again to make your new selection. Which selection do you prefer? Good to see you. Ha! Good to see you again. You look ready to begin your journey on the hero's path. I have tasks for you. There is work on the job board beside me as well. Ready to begin? Need something else? For this task, seek out the seer, Sabella. She will guide you on the work to be done. Report back when you've learned all you can. Ah, hero. I can tell you have gotten a lot stronger. You look like you're ready for more training. Meet me in the training room when you're ready. Your strength as a warrior will save you in a fight. But a hero needs a full wallet to overcome the debts and fees that come with being an adventurer. Seek out rough astral diamonds. Refine as much as you can each day, and then return to me. A strong economy is as essential as a strong blade. Adventurer, you are now ready to begin completing campaigns throughout Faerun. As you complete campaigns, you will gain boon points. Once you have gained enough, you will unlock the ability to gain your first master boon. Return to me when you have done so. Good luck. As a member of the Adventurer's Guild, it's important that you help your fellow members. Join them in completing skirmishes across the Sword Coast, and then return to me.